Hi there, I'm very excited to talk about the possibility of setting up Google Meets for students and also having host controls. And so if you're not familiar with host controls, basically what it does is it forces people to have to ask to join prior to meeting in order to participate. Okay, so you can set up host controls now in Google Calendar, which is great news because in the past you couldn't. And so when you set up a calendar event, it used to be that students would just hang out in Google Meet sessions and the teacher really didn't know what was going on. And so that was one of the biggest criticisms of Google Meet and using Google Calendar. So then Google kind of plugged up that hole using Google Classroom. Well, not everyone uses Google Classroom. And also there's also instances where it's really nice to be able to just invite a student, they get the email invitation, it's on their Google Calendar, and then you don't have to worry about the issue of using your Classroom link in order to best meet the needs of students. So if you need to schedule with a group of students or you just need to schedule with uh, one student, this is a great way to do it. Just use your Google Calendar event and then add them and then turn on host controls so that way they can't jump in. So let's look at that. I'm gonna put in a student here. There's my fake student. And then what I will do is make some adjustments. One, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you turn off the ability for these students to invite others. If they can, then you're gonna have a bunch of students showing up in your Google Meet if those students are not trustworthy. So you're gonna to wanna to turn that off. The other thing you'll do is go to the gear right beside the Google Meet session. If it's not there, you can activate a Google Meet session just by adding a video conference and you click on the gear. And then you have what are called host controls or quick access, I should say. When you turn this off, this means that the host must join first. Students can't participate in the meeting until that host appears. Then what's also nice is that the students that are invited in the Google Calendar event can join without asking. So keep that in mind. Once you're in there, they can just pop in. However, if they try and invite someone or they pass around the meet code, which is right there, if they pass that around, then what ends up happening is students that try to get in to your Google Meet will have to ask to join first and only the host can grant that permission. In fact, students, when if they're in that meeting waiting for the teacher to show up, what will happen is the student will not see the admittance option that looks like this. Only the host can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna save this event. And now when I hit save, it'll send an invitation to that student. And now when I go to the Google Meet session, and I hit join with Google Meet. The students will not be able to get into this Google Meet and participate until you get in there. In fact, they'll receive this screen here that says that it's waiting for the host. Sometimes it even says ask to join. I've seen that screen too, so I'm not sure why that would pop up. But either way, they're not able to actually participate in the Google Meet until the host actually joins the meeting and starts in it. Okay, so then if they choose to invite students, which they can, they can push the invite button and this is what it looks like and they can send an email to their friends. If, when the students try and access that link, then the admittance button pops up and you can accept or deny. Then when you hit deny, what happens is you'll get this screen and this screen shows you that the students will not be able to join that meeting because you've denied them. Now, how long that lasts, I don't know. I'm estimating roughly around maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And so there's a period of time that those students can't just keep hitting the ask to join button. Otherwise that would get super annoying. So anyway, so just let's recap all of those steps. When you create a Google Calendar event, make sure of two things. Make sure that you have turned off the ability to invite others. And also you're gonna to wanna to check your quick access. Make sure that's turned off so that way you can invite individual students or groups of students and then they can't participate until you have joined. The great option for teachers to utilize Google Meet outside of classroom or using nicknames for your meetings, then you can continuously invite students to different times and different periods and you can have a little more control as to who actually can access those Google Meet sessions.